Hello Techies. In the previous video, we have learned how to work with create folder, get files in folder, get subfolders in folder actions. All right. Now in this video, we will learn the remaining folder actions such as empty folder, delete folder, copy folder, move folder, and finally we'll see rename folder. All right. Now we'll start with empty folder. Let me drag and drop this empty folder onto the workspace. Now, what is the purpose of this empty folder? If we want to delete all the content of a folder such as files and subfolders without deleting the folder itself. Now I will show you an example to make you understand. On my desktop, I'm having a folder with the name of Power Automate Desktop. Inside that Power Automate Desktop folder, I'm having learning folder actions. Let me double click on that. Now, if you see in this folder, I'm having files that is employee.txt and students.csv file. Along with that, I'm having one more subfolder that is docs. Now, what I want to do, I want to clear or I want to empty the folder, which is with the name of learning folder actions. Whatever the content I have, whatever the files and subfolders I have, I want to delete them without deleting the learning folders action. All right, how can I go ahead and do that? I can do that by using empty folder. You can see delete all the content of a folder that is files and subfolders without deleting the folder itself. Let me click on browse. And then I'm going to desktop and there in Power Automate desktop, I'm having learning folders action. Let me select that. And then I'm going to click on OK. Now click on save. Now as usual, to know the flow has been completed or not, I'm going to use display message. I'm going to give the title as flow and display message as flow process. All right, let me click on save. Now let's run the flow. Now, if you see over here, whenever the empty folder action has executed, whatever the files inside the learning folders action that is with the name of folder name that inside that files and folders has been deleted. But you can see the uh, folder that is learning folder actions, which you have selected that is not deleted. Let me click on OK. Now, if I want to delete the root, uh, root folder itself, whatever the folder that we are going to select it, that the root folder itself, I want to delete that. Then how can I go ahead and do that? If you see delete folder over here, I'm having delete folder. Let me drag and drop this delete folder action onto the workspace. Now, whatever the folder you want to delete it inside the content also, it will delete it by using delete folder action. Let me select, let me click on browse. Now let me go to the desktop. I'm going to select the same Power Automate desktop and there I'm going to select learning folder actions is the folder name. Let me click on OK. Now what will happen over here? It will delete this folder. Let me click on save. Now let's run the flow. Now if you see over here on the right hand side, the folder with the name of learning folder actions has deleted. And if the folder is deleted inside the files and the folder subfolders, also will get deleted. Let me click on OK. Now you may ask what is the difference for these two things, empty folder and delete folder. While you are going to use empty folder, inside the folder, the what of the files and the subfolders will be getting deleted, but not the root folder that is what of the folder you are going to select that will not get deleted. Whereas the delete folder, it will delete the folder which you are going to select it. Inside the files and the subfolders also will get deleted. I hope you understand what the difference and how to work with empty folder and delete folder. All right. Now we'll work with copy folder. What is the use with this copy folder? It will copy the entire folder along with the subfolders and the files. It will copy the data from one folder to another destination folder. Now let me drag and drop this copy folder onto the workspace. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the folder which you need to copy. I'm going to select, I'm going to click on browse on the desktop. I'm having Power Automate desktop. In the Power Automate desktop, I'm having docs. What this entire folder needs to copy into the another folder. I will select destination folder over here as 
on the same desktop, Power at my desktop, I'm having learning folder actions. Let me select that. Let me click on OK. Now what I'm going to do, the whatever the folder that I'm going to copy with the name of docs, I'm going to copy this entire thing into the learning folder actions. And if you see the option or if you see the parameters over here, do nothing and overwrite. If already that folder is exist inside the learning folder actions, then we have to overwrite it or I need to keep it as is. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to select overwrite over here. And then if you see the variable produce, the copied folder, whatever you're having, it can be accessed to all kind of information it will be getting over here in the copied folder. Let me click on save. Now let's run the flow. Flow execution has been completed. Now if you see inside my learning folders, I'm having the docs. Inside the docs, I'm having a lot of folders which you can see over here in the same way we're having the docs over here. All right. So if you observe over here, it is copy kind, copy and paste kind of thing which we have seen in the files previously. Over here also what it is doing is a kind of copy a folder and paste the folder wherever you require in the destination folder. All right. Now let me click on OK. Now we'll talk about the move folders. It's a kind of cut and paste. As we have seen that I'm going to from one location to another location or one or from one source to another destination folder, I'm going to copy the entire folder over here. Let me select folders to move. I will select the say another folder from here in the desktop. I will select power out my desktop over here. I will select uh, some other things that you know I will select it or original books if I have. Let me click on OK. Now this original books are there in the Power Art Mate desktop. I want to move this folder inside the Power Art Mate desktop inside learning folders. I want to move this folder inside to learning folders. Let me click on OK. Now what are the mode files parameters that we have? It will be entire information will be stored in the variable that is mode folder. Let me click on save. Let me disable this copy folder to make you understand and let's run the flow. If you observe over here, what happened, the org books, original books folder was here. It has been moved to the learning folders. You can see over here, previously it was outside of the, uh, you know, learning folders, actions folder, but it has been moved to inside the original books. You may ask over here also, what is the difference for the copy folder and move folder? Copy folder is a kind of copy and paste folder, whereas move folder, it's a kind of cut and paste the folder. So what will happen in the copy paste folder, you are having the original folder as is, and you will get a duplicate or you know one more copy over here inside the destination folder. Whereas in the move folder, that entire folder, which you have selected as a source, it will be moved to the destination folder. The original copy will not be there. All right, let me click on OK. I hope you understand what the difference for the copy folder and move folder. And also we have learned how to work with these two folder actions. All right. Now we will learn about rename folder. What is the purpose of this folder? To change the name of the folder, I can use this rename folder action. For instance, suppose I want to change any folder name, let us assume on my desktop, in my Power Automate desktop, I'm having docs folder. I want to rename it as document. Okay. In that case, I will give the name over here as document. All right. Now the rename folder will be stored. The details will be stored inside the variable that is produced rename folder. Let me click on save. Now let's run the flow. Now, if you observe over here, Previously, with the name of docs was there. Right now, it has been renamed to documents. All right. The rename folder is just used to rename the whatever the folder name you, if you want, you can go ahead and you can rename it. All right. Let me click on OK. I hope you understand how to work with empty folder, delete folder, copy folder, move folder, and rename folder actions as part of this tutorial. Thank you for watching Power Automate Desktop Tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. 
Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.